Okay, the topic of this uh, talk is uh, connecting a, a digital to analog converter, uh, in this case MCP4922, uh, to Adafruit Hazard, which has a ESP8266 module inside. So, this uh, DAC is uh, a 12 bit resolution and it has actually two uh, digital analog converters inside. And that's exactly what uh, we will need for the uh, laser projection project. So first we need to take a look at the uh, pinouts. Uh, the most important is uh, uh, VDD over here and uh, AVSS which is ground. Uh, so let's uh, take a look how it can uh, all be arranged. Uh, I did that on a separate breadboard so that I don't clutter anything. Um, so I have uh, uh, the connections made. Uh, as, uh, the voltage of over here goes to two channel oscilloscope so we can see what uh, uh, the uh, uh, converter produces and it's controlled by Adafruit Hazard uh, which is connected uh, to the DAC using SPI interface um, that uh, requires uh, about uh, four lines over here so let's uh, take a look at the program so the set DAC function I based it on um, uh, a tutorial for MCP 4922 uh, for Arduino Uno uh, but uh, because we are using ASP8266 uh, uh, we can uh, use high frequency and uh, for that I also use some uh, optimizations so if you can see uh, over here uh, there are some uh, direct pin manipulations uh, replacing the digital write uh, and digital read uh, So, um, what can we say? Uh, in the setup, I uh, initialize SPI in the usual way, uh, but then also I uh, uh, initiate a timer, uh, which is um, 5 MHz one, uh, divided by 200, uh, it's uh, 25,000 uh, 25, uh, Hz uh, for the timer. And what the timer does, it basically just gets um, uh, a, a number and sets uh, it to one channel and uh, 4095 minus that number to another channel uh, over here, you can see that. And then it uh, increments the number and if it goes over 4096, it uh, goes back to zero. Um, and the loop, well, there's nothing really in the loop, it just blinks uh, uh, an LED on Adafruit Hazard. Uh, but uh, what happens when you run the program and we see on the oscilloscope? Well, we can actually see a very nice pattern over here, um, almost like a Christmas tree. Uh, and you can see that uh, over here is the number between the cursors, uh, so you can see how frequently that is updated. It's uh, over here 1.66 milliseconds. Uh, and that uh, corresponds to 25,000 updates per second. And that is great for what we are going to use it for. Alright, so now that we have uh, the DAC working, it's time to put it all together and connect it to the laser projection galvanometers.